back on site. We got some shelving going on here. The frost uh, stayed in the ground last night with that heat king. It got, this was the part where the loops were a little long and so it was still frozen. We had three foot, I had to break through a frost here. I mean, look at this. You can see the frozen bank right here, right where that laser stick is. It's almost uh, three foot down. It was four foot back, but we're getting, we got to step two foot, then step another two foot. So here's our first initial two foot, two foot down to the eight foot, go the whole distance. And this gets brought back for the loading dock. All right, dance around in all my marks here. Got to do a little repaint real quick. So I stay on it. Massaging the frost. Come on. There she breaks. Come on. And that's with a ground pounder on it for a night and it's still that. So we definitely took eight inches out. Anyways, but I bet there was two foot of frost in this dang thing. Like I said, the ground was wet in this area. Starting to sleet and snow right now. I don't know how much more we'll get today. Check the damages tomorrow. Wanted to get this dug today. Oh, that piece is nice. Looks like a whale. Back on site. Running in the mud, thawing out. Found a boulder. We're into basically virgin ground comes into here finally. But as it goes back down to sand after that, got this big boulder, everything's shelving out nice. Got this return dug here, got a manhole. Everything's a little tricky. This is the trickiest part of the site, but all we got left is this blue line, shelf back. Benches back over oh, this. None of my paint's working either. It's like insane. All right, here's the rock. We had to dig it all around it. A lucky it landed in our uh, it landed in our trench because it made for a nice hole. With all the frost we've been picking out, it's a nice rock. That's a nice rock, man. You need to take that one home. And, and it was actually right where our shelf is. So right here's the step down. Piece of frost. 
Incoming.
passes. Getting sloppy as the hour goes on. More melting, a little more rain. Starting to, right now, all the stones in, everything's placed, ready to go. Put a little rock dam here, stop the water from coming in. Everything looks pretty good. Everything should fit. That's the main, that's the main thing. Everything should fit. on site busy busy day we got 18 loads of crusher run coming in we got our open gravel for compaction coming in steel guys are all here unloading built this over the weekend what an awesome system stanchion for the laser i got it set at seven inches high that'll give me my inch of compaction it's working out perfect Let's put that crusher in there these ones out all right just running out an idle you guys can see them neon lights hopefully that's low that's high so we'll just drop it a bit and the dead on and this has the arrows tuned so that's green right there it's good so i'll just run this forward and just watch my arrows and stay with it first pass don't matter i mean you, you want to get it as close as you can on the first pass so i'm glad to go down with it now i'll run it right there seven inches because that's going to give me an inch of compaction later on in the day this is just so the crane guys can work and the steel and everything we're going to cover this mud hopefully we don't lose too much crusher run when uh hopefully we don't lose too much crusher run Working out really slick to rough it in, I'll tell you. Just make it a little bit thicker right here where the crane is going. The crane is here. So we're kind of jockeying back and forth. It's been a real stressful morning. I got compaction going in at the same time. But uh just holding my truck off for a second. Hang on. Bear with me. No, uh, their load dropped off.
got the crane going in. Dirt sexy in the skid steer. All right, another lift of compaction going in. Oh, we're getting our compaction. Lifts are in, crane is in. We got Mike in the Kubota giving me dirt. It's all working out. Big day today, big progress today. Hopefully we get some more footage poured. The loading dock. Be in good shape. Got the footings going in the last three piers in the building got it uh let's see 16 loads of crusher running this thing already all right everybody's out of here it's my turn to dance man i'm playing tic-tac-toe in front of all of this stuff though but i'm loving this stanchion i built i did this years ago on my new holland i just never got a chance to get back to do it on this machine but um it's a little getting used to but i tell you what it puts this in flat because you're gonna be within a half inch and then you fine tune it here or there but 
just got to pay attention to those lights and dials on that laser and just go with it. And once you get a good clean pass, then you just match your pass. But I really can't got, I don't have no distance because I got all the columns in here and the cranes in here. And so I can only do so much with this 11 foot blade. Not to get into the skid steer once it's, see I'm low there. There, it's high instantly, but and right there will be good. You got a little speck on that blue, you're good. We'll just grade this right around this crane, then we'll match the two together right about there. You don't have to aim for that green because then it, once you hit that green, it's too late. You're already past it. So you just watch the arrows on there. There's little arrows just like on a regular receiver. And uh, so it gets you real close. And then this will work on the skid steer and everything else. We got some unseasonable weather, which is awesome. February today, 51 degrees. And all week it looks good. So but this place is graded up. They started the steel. Um, one day is all I needed and I would have been out of their way, but you know how that works. It makes my life more miserable, but whatever. One day. Yeah. First one on site, last one off site. Always seems to be that way. Crusher's all roughed, roughed in within a half inch. That laser system worked really slick on that dozer. Then I just backbladed with the skid steering, knocked the highs and filled the lows. This, uh, you know, it's pumping in spots. Obviously, you guys all seen this site, how mucky it was. This will dry it up. 51 degrees today in February, which is unheard of. But uh, you see how dark spots and then light spots, that's the moisture coming up out of the ground. This allows these guys to erect this steel one more day though, I would have had all this in perfect for him. But it is what it is. It's gonna get messy anyways. We'll fine tune this. Um, we'll be fine tuning this in a month or so when it's ready for concrete, then we'll roll it and compact it and do all that jazz after the steel's all up. This footing's ready, almost ready to be poured. Probably tomorrow I'll pour that and then this wall goes on and then all that dirt gets cut out. On to the next phase guys. Back on site, just great in the backyard. Beautiful day again. Things are drying out inside. Buildings being set. That loading dock footings being poured. We got ourselves a good cliff here. I've been tracking it in with the skid steer. I'm gonna bring a little more dirt in with the skiddy, and then hit the dozer off and push this pile and just give this a give this a dress up knock my paws down then we'll adjust to see how much fill we need for the change order still got chunky frost in there but it's soft enough it's breaking up
still got to get to here. I think the goal is get tapered right out to the top of that retaining wall then. Just giving it a one-two polish with the skid steer. She's pumping in a lot of spots because of the snow underneath and whatnot, but frost giving out. Just knocked the high spots down. And filmed in a couple days got these piles out put them out back still got this pile here for this wall this wall just got poured about an hour ago this loading dock wall come out really sweet our catch basin that we got installed is going to go right here in that notch out down there six inches up off the ground pipe's going to go out there into that manhole a lot of backfill for the inside we're gonna have to go half and half, use half that pile, half imported for the top. Keep regrading the stone for these guys. Gets punchy, but back here come out really well. Tractor pack this whole slope. I had the booster coming right down this line and angling it, dumping off. Everything's track and pack. We had to meet that retaining wall. This was all filled in. I mean, they probably 200 yards in here. And it could use a little bit right in there obviously this is disrupting there was still a lot of frost it was pumping there was frost chunks in there pumping in and out over there is real super wet but overall it's all tracked and packed and then the landscapers take it from here we just had to rough it in 